Okay, now this next poet, because you know I got five facts. Sorry, I started that. It's okay, I love it. I love it. Y'all gave me a reason to write in this notebook today. Okay, so this one, this one fact caught me off guard. They were once a former maximum prison captain. Okay, yeah, getting a handle on things. <laughs> Is uh, now a personal development life coach. Uh, I got a little Ray Charles coming on because they, they know how to play a song on the piano, but one song on the piano. Okay, I'm gonna let them tell you what song it is too. You know, I, I can do one key. <laughs> can't, can't go wrong with that, right? And they are also overcoming stage fright, which is crazy because once they come up here, you go on stage fright, what? Okay, give it up for confession. Whatever you say. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Uh -oh. Hold on. It's your birthday month. Yeah. Oh. 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 Sagittarius gang. Okay. okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my cousin's a Sag. And I love him and hate him at the same time. But I love you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love you. I really do. Oh, and also. Confessions is also on the documentary at the uh, Alamo Draft House, Cedar, Cedar Hill. Yeah. Excuse me. It's, it's for educational purposes, is really what it is. It teaches you, you know, about becoming a woman. Yes. Can I get your autograph? When is it playing? Uh, it played yesterday, but she's going to stream it very soon. Yes. There's one conversation black parents can't avoid. The very thought of it makes them paranoid. Sit down, my sweet babies, I must train your thoughts. It's time for us to finally have the talk. Some things in life have unfair consequences. For this conversation, I need your attention. Not the birds and the bees. It's when your hive's under attack. It's time to learn the danger of driving while black. Mm -hmm. Law enforcement swears by their very own codes that shows how many civilians break the rules of the roads. The most common for black folks is 1195, but in court, it's disguised as a routine traffic stop. As your heart rate increases, it's time to pay your dues. American colors flash in your rear view. Keep your hands on the dash. Only answer what you've been asked. Pay attention to the name and the number on his badge. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know why I pulled you over? No, officer, please tell me. What exactly is the motive? When I run your ID, then we will go over it. License and registration. Hurry up. Hand them over. He looked over her shoulder, and her son was in the back, and asked why was she alone, and where was his dad? Put a seatbelt on. That would be a citation. Rules are in place, and you people love to break them. Silently, I reached my hand inside of my purse and handed over my ID as he requested at first. Now, awareness is required. Be in the present moment. When you reach for your ID, his hand is on his gun holster, and the sweat on his brows makes the truth so clear. We are made in God's image. So when black folks, cops fear, he got a call over the radio, and it was the dispatch. Now, I have to answer that, so I'll be right back. Put your hands where I can see them. Go control that black demon. Give him some milk or something so that he can stop screaming. Patrol 95, please be on the lookout. It's a black Nissan, black Nissan Osmo with a missing hubcap. Sorry, a black Nissan Osmo with a missing hubcap. Patrol 95, please be on the lookout. <laughs> a black Nissan Altima with a missing hubcap. A missing hubcap. Texas is the state, and I'll dispatch you in a minute with the license plate. The 95 can hesitate to call a 1078. That's a request for assistance. Now, backups on the way. With war boots and a vest, his actions wasn't the best when the baby boy threw up, leaving his mom's car in a mess. So she grabbed the napkin out of the middle console and was flabbergasted as the officer approached. Three shots went off. Now, I told you not to move. Put down the weapon, ma'am. Get out of the vehicle, too. We've got a 1032. That means a person with a gun, but he only shot with a person that was holding a napkin. He was relieved that the bullets only missed her by an inch. But unfortunately for the kid, he was shot in the ribs. And although the officer's actions were really stupid, we still had to go to trial, judge, jury, and prosecution. They too have a duty to protect and serve, but those rules only apply if a white person gets hurt. By the system, we are cursed. Blacks are treated like dirt. He was asked why he pulled his weapon out on her at first. He was justified with this one statement. 
She just fit the description of the vehicle we was chasing. And as for the kid, it was an accident too, but the driver's at fault because we told her not to move. He walked the free man, sparked community rights. I got six months for failure to compliance. And my lawyer didn't even state their biggest mistake. They never got back to him with the correct night license plate. And in breaking news as the story unfolds, another tragic death of a black four-year-old. And as long as black folks keep getting put in the dirt, age really don't matter because justice is served. Tupac stud life means the hate that you give come back in consequence and affect all our, our kids. Well, I'm a black advocate, so assassinate me, pigs. But we ain't peaceful protesting like Martin Luther King them did. Yeah, I'm calling out the laws. And poetry is my weapon. And in case they need an edit, it's trick is confession. Education too. Open mind is common sense and the value of fair thinking is the freedom that's required for critical thinking. Man, we must be dreaming. The American dream that programs us with fear and material things. You respect social influences and post big travel dates but your kids at home stay and have an eight today. It's such a mental state of constitutional arrangement how the school system prepares us for poor prison pavements. Take the wheels off the school bus and draw a floating fleet. Because back then they used boats to capitalize slavery. We're told to relax like we have forgotten that both corrupt systems get played good for black bodies and expensive product where black folks like the knowledge how we went from pick and field to being more than value cotton. And when students get crazy with changes in behavior, the principal sends them to in-school isolation. Yeah. Even prisoners hate it. The meanest of them can't shake it. Confined to a cell for 23 hours a day, that's what COVID demonstrated when we had to wait in line in grocery stores just to eat perishable parasites and the system has us blind in the house being scary. CDC, New World Order, vaccine side effects vary like prisons and commissary. First time offender Jason, guards threw him up on C-Block just to see if he would make it. He joined the family of the Crips. About a blood TBB, he wanted to finish his dead time in some kind of peace. Oh, say, can't you see what they did to the OG? Three pounds of weed got Jason in three years deep when he was just trying to eat and feed his family. But he was shanked on his way back to cell block C. We're in the land of the free with an expensive faith like that bullshit they preaching in Florida today. You know, teachers are required to keep students inspired by saying slavery gave us powerful knowledge that brutality and violence and decades of getting killed is the very foundation of black folks' character development skills. Man, you gotta get real. Do you hear yourself speak? Our natural gifts are inherited. Don't give credit to slavery. In classroom C, that's where Shantae speaks. What does any of this got to do with my history? My daddy told me about the old ancient days when the colonizers came here with torture and hate. The people that they raided was Melanie May, so the news that Columbus discovered the lands here was fake. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, although the teacher did support Do Donald Trump, Shante was a spell for disruption of education. Mm -hmm. Ain't that amazing? It's a casual demonstration of how racial disparity caused students' humiliation, like recess and visitation, dress codes caused limitations, kids wear uniforms like jumpsuits on inmates. Can't y'all see what this is about? Mind control. And they make sure they started at kindergarten years old. You know, I was a CEO, kind of like Rick Ross, but I'm big niche in my hood, ho. But <laughs> <laughs> her dad and share the experience that she recently had. She stood up to the teacher. He taught her so well. Well, we took her to the chapel with the message from him. You know, we apologize to have to approach you this way, but your daddy won't be in visitation today. So he was a part of the games and the Crips took a rage because he fed the disabled bloods every day. He became a threat to all the gangs, but he died in peace. Here's a photo he left of you on cell block C. And with tears in her eyes, she would have said, Dad, later today, I walked, I walked the stage to graduate. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Woo